Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about the normal P wave um, which originates from the sinus node. So um, the normal P wave usually has an upright deflection in leads 1, 2 and it's also upright in leads V5 and V6. And the P wave would be inverted in lead AVR and in V1, um, the P wave has a biphasic morphology and you can kind of see it over here. It's, it's hard to see. Um, so that's the axis of the normal P waves, which is usually between zero to positive 75 degrees. What about the duration and the amplitude? So the duration of the P wave is usually about um, 120 milliseconds or less than 120 milliseconds which would be 0 0.12 seconds and the amplitude of the p wave um, differs from whether you're looking at it in a precordial lead or a limb lead so um, in the precordial leads it's less than uh, 1.5 millimeters on the ekg um, strip or less than 0 0.15 millivolts. So that would be about this height. And in the um, limb leads, the P wave amplitude is less than 2.5 millimeters on the EKG paper or 0 0.25 millivolts. So that would be somewhat about here-ish. And so I am a big mnemonic utilizer so i make mnemonics for everything so the way i remember all of this information is i write down the numbers 1 1 1.5 2 2.5 and so one and two kind of just remind me that the p wave has to be upright in these two leads um 1.5 and 2.5 um, remind me of the amplitude of the p wave so it has to be 1.5 millimeters in the precordial leads and 2.5 millimeters or less than 2.5 millimeters in the limb leads and then three reminds me of the duration which is usually less than three small squares or 120 milliseconds and that is all I hope this video was helpful and stay awesome.